Officer involved shootings have been on the rise throughout the country, causing lots of tension between communities and law enforcement. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is now giving a look behind its decisions on how to use force. CW 50's April Morton was at a special training session with the luck. A special training on the OCC Auburn Hills campus by the ATF was not held in the field, but in a classroom and not for their own, but for members of the media. On our use of force policy on Department of Justice policy on shoot, no shoot scenarios, something just to educate the, the media and the public on, on how we're trained and how we react in, in situations for real out in the real world. With tensions high between citizens and law enforcement over the use of police force in the U.S., ATF Detroit acting agent in charge Keith Krolchek says training like this is necessary. The media not only attended a course that explains legally why officers use force, but we were put in real life scenarios through the use of a simulator. Try to get the web of your hand. You see the web of the hand there to the bottom of that gun. We were first taught how to properly hold a gun. Then I was put into a simulated robbery situation where I was the responding officer. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. In the simulation, the suspect turns and shoots at the officer, something law enforcement says can happen in a split second. And that training is the, is the backbone of the, their decision-making process. You know, when there is a, a use of force issue, when there is a, a, a time where you need to make a split-second decision. By law, the officers say force should only be used if there is an imminent threat of physical harm or death to the officer or someone else. Agents say training like these will continue throughout the country indefinitely. In Auburn Hills, April Morton, CW50 News at 10.